Hey Leo, this is Lex. I'm here with your March 2020 reading. I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through the way that they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. Okay, hit that like button and comment if this resonates with you. If it does not, you may want to check your moon rising or Venus. Okay, um, there is also a link in the description for my website where you can book readings, coaching, purchase supplies, products, and or merch. Okay, so for you, I have two of water, awakening, four of fire, four of earth, seven of air, and six of fire. Okay, Leos. So what I'm getting here for you is that you guys are being very stubborn. <laughs> you are needing to let go of a situation and forgive somebody. Okay. Um, you um, also may need to loosen the purse strings a little bit uh, when it comes to um, finances in the home. Okay, I feel that there is something that needs to be taken care of and it's something that you feel doesn't need, the money doesn't need to be spent there. It'll be better spent elsewhere. Okay, um, you're feeling like it's a bad time to um, address this issue that you feel doesn't, that the money should not be spent on this. Okay, and I'll clarify in a minute. But all in all, what I do see is just overall abundance. I see overall um, uh, happiness and content. You being more um, um, close, more um, connected rather with your partner and your family and your friends and the people around you. Okay. Also, I do feel that you're going to be able to positively resolve this conflict with the bill or expense that needs to be taken care of okay let's get some clarifiers Okay, if this out, <laughs> if this expense is related to someone needing the like, maybe I'm thinking maybe like a child um, who may be in college or someone who doesn't live close or someone that's not close to you. Okay, possibly or just someone who is not telling you all the facts regarding this situation. They really need the money, but they're not telling you everything okay they feel like they may be embarrassed or something they feel that it may hurt you they're trying not to hurt you huh so they're not telling you everything they really need it but they're not telling you everything because they fear it's going to hurt you in some way Someone may be um, needing this money to travel somewhere. And it may be to see someone that you don't approve of, possibly someone from their past. That's why I was saying that maybe it's a, uh, no, an adult child that this is, okay? Try not to be so uh, controlling or judgmental with the situation so that they'll open up to you a little bit more, okay? All right. But other than that, um, home life seems to be good for you. Finances seems to be good for you. Um, just need to loosen up a little bit when it comes to spending. Okay. 
And also what I'm hearing, like those of you who are in uh, committed relationships, don't think that what you think is important is the only thing that's important, okay? You may think that one thing is more important and then your partner may feel that something else is more important. So you have to meet in the middle and compromise, which you will be able to do in the next couple of weeks. Y'all y'all will figure it, y'all two will, will figure it out. Wow, that's so tongue tied. Oh God, Leos. All right. So for your romance oracles, I have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I also have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So for those of you who are committed and you're being cheap, <laughs> let's, let's just call it like it is. If, if you're in a relationship and you're being too cheap, it is going to drive a wedge between your relationship. Okay. Those of you who are not in committed relationships and you are meeting someone and you feel like they are just the best thing since sliced bread. You feel like this is your twin flame and that they going to be your future, whatever, husband, wife, what have you. Don't ignore the signs, okay? Make sure that you are moving with your head and not your heart, okay? Sometimes our heart and our emotions and the things that we want blinds what we know to be a, a red flag okay so don't don't be blinded by lust or love even okay very good let's get an overall archangel message to tie this all up for you and i have peace Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So whatever situation you all are dealing with this month, Leo, remember that love is the most important um, thing of all, that love is the most positive energy of all. And in turn, for loving others, you will have and receive peace as well. Okay, take care.